I'm sorry for doubting you, Mankind Divided. Yes, I know that I'm a Deus Ex fanboy, but my first playthrough of the latest game really did make me feel sad. I felt in a rush to finish it, almost as though it was a chore that I had to get through. And I can definitely say now, after a second and third playthrough, that I was doing it wrong. You might say that there's no wrong way to play a game like Deus Ex, but there is for me. My way is to find every secret compartment and easter egg. It's to quick load when I'm detected, and to experiment with every combination of dialogue until I find the one that I'm happiest with. You might say that this is doing it wrong, but it's what I've always done with previous games and from it, Deus Ex has become my favourite series. I'm happy that I've played through Mankind Divided the more flawed, conventional way, because otherwise I wouldn't have known that it wasn't for me. And I can still stand by everything that I said in my main review of the game a few months back. I'm actually surprised by how well it stands despite my huge change in opinion about the title. But I can tell you now that my recent, and far more complete playthroughs of the game have been infinitely more enjoyable. Definitely up there with the best times that I've ever had with the series. I discovered entire sections that I missed or simply ran past the first time. I enjoyed replaying the missions with the power of hindsight. I thought that knowing the story would detract from this second playthrough, but I know now that I've never played this game for the story. I play it to dot the I's and to cross the T's, to leave no stone unturned, to enter a room from a new angle and to suddenly realise that I've been there before. My way is to know everything, to explore everything. That is my calling in this game. Mankind Divided is becoming my playground, and I'm in my element. Oh, and I finally realised that the world map, despite having four stops, was actually just two hubs. Can't believe I didn't realise that the first time round. Anyway, you live and learn. Once again, the Palisade Bank was a particular highlight, only this time, rather than several stories up, it was several hundred feet underground. And now that I've stopped to properly investigate the side missions, I can agree that they're the strongest parts of the game. Some of them, particularly the time-sensitive ones, gave me a true adrenaline rush where I felt that it was my wits against an invisible enemy of some kind. And most have great and unexpected twists. Oh, and your boss is gay. And yet, the game doesn't make a big deal about it. I'd never have even known had I not broken into his flat and looked at some pictures on his wall. Though the blackmail email on his computer makes a lot more sense now. This is how LGBT should be added into a game. It shouldn't be waved in front of your face or rammed down your throat. The way it's done in this game, as such a non-issue, makes it a non-issue. I feel bad for even covering it in this video as if it's something worth mentioning. But real respect to the team behind the game for handling this topic in such a mature manner. I've even got a song lined up that I know I'll nostalgically remember this game for. With the first game, it was the Unatco theme. With Human Revolution, Picus gets the funiculous stress. And with this game, it is one of the backing tracks in the Prague streets later on in the game. I spent hours searching through all of the official soundtracks for it, and I eventually found it and I have to wonder if I subconsciously grew to love it from earlier in the game, because it was the Palisade Bank tune, from the extended edition of the soundtrack. That song's very much like the game for me. I've grown to love it the more that I play it, and with it, it's become a more rewarding kind of feeling than my fleeting flings with fun but faddy games will ever be. I'll probably attempt a fourth playthrough soon. The streets are already paved with nostalgia for me. The bookshop feels like an old friend, even when it's swarming in enemies. And the TF-29 headquarters feels like home. Mankind Divided isn't perfect, many basements seem copy-pasted, shopkeepers rudely insult you every time you conclude business, and the alarm occasionally triggers unfairly. But it's Deus Ex, and I'm happy that my favourite series has another chapter that I've grown to love, and that has already given me more enjoyment than any game has any right to. Please get another sequel, Deus Ex.